Even though there seemed to be a ton of positivity surrounding the release of Black Adam and The Rock was out there thanking the fans, not focusing on the people that didn't like the movie, just focusing on the people that did and thanking them for supporting him. Even with all that going on, I, along with a few others, were looking at these box office numbers and realizing this is going to be a massive flop. This is going to be a massive financial failure for Warner Brothers. And sure enough, here we are just a few weeks into its release, and that is absolutely the case. When you look at these box office numbers, $366 million across the entire world. That right now looks to be about a $150 million loss for this movie. This movie needed a minimum of $500 million, likely more, just to break even. And that is not going to happen. Now, The Rock is being asked some very tough questions about Black Adam's failure. And people are now comparing it to Black Panther and realizing that with just a few days of release, Black Panther outgrossed Black Adam. Now, both of these, I don't think, are very good movies. I would rather watch Black Adam. But the simple fact is, Marvel's a massive Brandon, this movie has already generated more money in the box office than Black Adam. It also costs a little bit more, $250 million budget as opposed to $200. But look at what Dwayne Johnson is now saying. Dwayne Johnson admits Marvel kicked his ass with Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Says he's happy despite Black Adam's failure at the box office. And it absolutely is a failure. But the way that Dwayne Johnson responded to this has a lot of people roasting him right now because The Rock went all out with this Black Adam stuff. The hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Oh, Black Adam, people have been asking for this forever and ever for decades. He worked on this movie for like 10 years. And it is a failure. It is not just a slight failure. It's a massive failure. And now a lot of people are calling him out. But IGN posted this. Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever's box office, has already surpassed Black Adam's total. And uh, Dwayne Johnson actually replied to this in a very interesting way. What a neutral post. Love competing, but IGN, you guys are in the biz with us and there's no competition with established global brand of Black Panther compared to Black Adam and JSA, who a year ago, no one had even heard of. No need to knock us. We're new babies and have to grow. That's a little bit different than what he said throughout the entire lead up to this, isn't it? Uh, it seems a little bit different. And I want to I wanna watch this. Um, this is from Den of Nerds. The way The Rock talks out of both sides of his mouth is wild. Listen to this. Fans have waited decades to see their favorite JSA characters come alive on the big screen. Really quickly, I know that a lot of fans are super excited that we are introducing JSA uh, after all these years. Them, And a lot of the questions were about the JSA, the Justice Society of America. Now, that was, of course, all throughout the release. Uh, what's he saying now? A year ago, no one knew who Black Adam was. No one knew who the Justice Society was. A year ago, no one knew who Black Adam was. No one knew who the Justice Society was. <laughs> That's a little bit different, isn't it? A year ago, no, nobody knew who this was, and nobody knows about this. You know, that's a, we're okay losing $150 million. And that entire thing is coming from a, a video that he did in the truck celebrating the release of Black Panther and saying we got our asses kicked. We can listen to a little bit more of that for some more context. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the... Um the Black Adam love, the Black Adam love just continues to roll at the box office, especially here uh, in the U.S. Uh, Black Adam is now the number two uh, movie in the U.S. And I think the number two movie uh, around the world. I'm going to get to why we are number two. And speaking of getting our asses kicked, uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what happened uh, with another movie. But before I get into that and give those guys their flowers. Um, I wanna say thank you guys so much. I mean, you know, the, the the support for Black Adam has been incredible. Again, as you guys know, 90% audience score, which is just uh, outstanding. And, you know, one of the most satisfying and gratifying parts about Black Adam is a year ago, no one knew who Black Adam was. No one knew who the Justice Society was. In Black Adam, we made the investment, we made the commitment, myself, Team Rock, Seven Bucks, DC, uh, and um, and certainly our, our director, uh, Jama Kaletsera. 
Now, I'll stop it right there. That's the full context surrounding that clip of him saying nobody knew who Black Adam was. That's that's a little bit disingenuous. And obviously, his attitude now is very different. And sniping off to IGN after them simply putting up facts that, that are it's true, that's what happened. Now, you can't, I don't think Wakanda Forever is very good. I've talked about that a lot. I also think it's going to be a big disappointment in the box office. Got tons of videos on that. But you can't like sit there and talk all this big game, all this stuff's going to happen. You can't spend years and years of your life dedicated to this project and then have it flop the way it has and then just be like, oh, you know, no, nobody knew who we were. Who we were. You know, this is, we're, we're happy with this outcome. It's great to thank the fans and I love that he's focused on that. Love that he's focused on, you know, the fans that went and see it being happy about it. But the fact remains, this is a complete and total failure for DC, for Warner Brothers. A uh, hundred, 150 million bucks, somewhere in that range. That's what you're going to lose on this project. And now The Rock trying to backtrack and say, oh, well, you know, and nobody really knows anything. W was Black Panther the most popular character of all time in 2018 when that movie came out? I don't think so. Now, I don't think he was necessarily on the same level as Black Adam, but I mean, Bla people know who Black Adam is. DC fans know who Black Adam is in the same way that Marvel fans knew who Black Panther was. Uh, they might not have been the most popular characters, certainly, and I wouldn't necessarily put them on the same level. But you got to admit, like at some point, yes, this is a colossal financial failure. And it looks like The Rock is having a tough time coming to terms with that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. I'll talk to you guys later.